This man is selling out our country uh, inch by inch, mile by mile, row by row, as the song says, and uh, we should definitely put it to the people. So I'd like to ask you, what is the WHO Pandemic Treaty? Well, this is the six-man question. What it is, in my opinion, is a completely giving away all powers of our sovereign state to the World Health you know, um, Authority, the World Health Organization. They're having a mega conference in Davos from the 13th, which is next Sunday, for six, seven days. And many people feel that this is uh, serious and it's quite dangerous. In fact, that we didn't have any debate on our representatives who, who may be attending there, what their role is and what they intend to acquiesce to or agree to. So I questioned the Taoiseach in the Dáil on Tuesday about this. This is the same Taoiseach who's travelling down to Bain Le Blanc this summer to commemorate Michael Collins. Albeit it's a hybrid operation with him and the Tarnister fighting for, to commemorate our, 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 our fallen heroes who fought to free our country and to sign up to a treaty that um, would wipe away our rights. This is a complete uh, abdication of the responsibilities of a sovereign government to the sovereign and to the people of Ireland and is totally an anathema to me and, and to many people. And do you think that the public should have the opportunity to vote on this? Almost oh, certainly. I mean, we can't possibly have uh, this uh, signed, a treaty signed up. Someone, in fact, says signed up already. I don't know, but I know that Deputy O.D., a colleague, if he's asked him two weeks ago, I've asked him this week, and he went into defensive mode and he smiled and he jokingly said, yeah, he's a strong supporter. So this man is selling out our country uh, inch by inch, mile by mile, row by row, as the song says, and uh, we should definitely put it to the people. And if the people so decide in a referendum that they want the World Health Organization to decide when Ireland has a health pandemic, stroke crisis or whatever, I mean, why do we have to have the parliament here? Why do we have the waste of money that costs to keep this parliament and, 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 and cabinet and the whole lot running here if we're going to just, as I said, allow our major decisions that impact our children, our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren's futures ad infinitum? So yeah, I think it's a shocking situation that, that more... Uh, Rockton's colleagues aren't demanding the, that we have a referendum for this. We, uh, we've had more referenda you know, for other, other many sm small issues, but we very need uh, this issue to be put to the people as a sov for a sovereign vote. The World Health Authority didn't will have the power to, dic to dictate. A faceless person to us, an unelected bureaucrat, will decide that uh, what's good for us, what, what he feels, his opinion, whoever advises him is good for our health and what we should have in our bodies and we shouldn't have in our bodies. And where, is our, our, where did our bodily autonomy go and where did uh, all of a sudden my body, my choice disappear to? It was a very uh, big acronym a couple of years ago. We had a major push out on it and now it's all forgotten about when it suits people. So, no, we, we're right as, as a determined. My late father spent 14 months in prison fighting the war of independence and uh, they went through horrific times. Men and women, many gave their lives, lost their lives. To what sell us out now to the WHO funded by Bill Gates and company? This is anathema to any right thinking political representative as far as I'm concerned. We're an island. We have to, you know, collaborate and indeed engage and discuss and share uh, ideas and, and cures and remedies, but not to give away total control. Of course, there's a fine line as a balance. Not hand over uh, decision making authorities that this parliament is meant to have under the, under the, under the sovereign government to unelected officials. This, this has happened in so many areas. You take the NGOs now out there, there's 36,000 NGO organizations costing almost six billion, five and a half billion annually, and they're dictating the policy. It's not the elected representatives, so certainly it's good to have you know cooperation and shared um, you know ideas. My late brother was a pediatrician of some renown. He travelled to many world conferences, of course, and shared and, and, and explored and learned and and gave expertise as well to others. So yeah, we're not insular that way, but we certainly need to have the final say and decision making on our, our own parliament that's responsible to the people. People can decide that if they're happy or unhappy with us, but when it's Michael Matt will be able to say, oh, nothing to do with me, it's over in the WHO.
uh, did this. this. This is, as I said, an abdication of uh, of his position and of our position of our country as well, a total sellout. And what is your opinion on the huge influence that China has over the World Health Organization? China, yes, of course, and many other, and some other countries, not many. This is the problem with, super, with these superpowers, and this is the problem. This is why we have to keep our, uh, you know, identity. We have to keep our rightful place among the nations of the world, and keep any sovereign decisions for ourselves, our people in this country, not handed over to, as I said, a faceless bureaucratic organisation that's been funded hugely by big uh, conglomerates and indeed big countries like China. And lastly, what do you think about the threats of sanctions for non-compliance? So this is morbid. They'll tell us it's a conspiracy theory. There won't be any sanctions, but sure, we have been sanctioned to death. Uh, nearly here, people have been have been uh, punished. People, paramedics wouldn't allow to drive ambulances. Um, people wouldn't allow to go to work. The, the, the punishment that was meted out to people, and in the middle of a health crisis, where they needed paramedics, where they needed nurses, they were put into offices, box rooms, hidden away from people. Uh, they weren't allowed to work because they hadn't uh, the, the magic potent in their body. And, and, they, and people's choice, I said, where does that go? So, oh, there will be sanctions. And that's what it's all about, is to control, control, and more control.